so today, Cold guys, Santos Tower, uh, visual contact. Today we are doing an escort, we're escorting the Attorney General Roger. of San Andreas through Los Santos and kind of giving him a taste of Los Santos, showing him around the city. Um, I'm a personal tour guide as well as a asset protection. I'm riding passenger in this car. Here's the escort we got. We got quite a few cars, a lot of them, and right now we're just waiting to watch him land on his plane. Landing right there, coming right above the Audios Airlines. And looks like he's about to have touchdown. Yep, there he is, landing. And Cold touchdown. one, Los Santos Tower, exit via the left taxiway and contact ground control on 121.9. 10-4, exiting left taxiway. Ground control, this is Col Colt 1. Colt 1, good morning. Exit way, taxiway. Exit, ex exit taxiway, proceed to hangar 5. 10, understood, hangar 5. Colt 1, proceeding, left taxiway. Good morning. Alright, it's a wonderful morning here in Los Santos. We have a long escort plan. It goes all the way through Mir Park, all the way up to the Vinewood, to Vespucci, and we'll end it right back here up at the airport where I will leave people depart. And so all these guys in the suits here, they're part of the LSPD Detectives Bureau acting as uh, special um, asset protection. We do the personal asset protection, TSU and motor unit up there. They're doing the actual uh, vehicle protection, protecting the convoy, making sure everything goes smoothly. And uh, we have a SWAT team also there in the back Tahoe, which is all tactical for the uh, tactical team, just in case anything goes wrong. So. Here we are. He'll be coming up to me. I'll be greeting him. Morning, gentlemen. Good afternoon, Attorney General. Good morning. morning. Today. Glad to be here uh, with you in San Andreas. Yes, it's a wonderful day, wonderful weather. It's always like this in San Andreas. We have a wonderful tour planned out for you today, going all the way up through um, our police station, through the residential areas, and through the busy Vinewood Boulevard. And you can see all the sights. And we'll also be taking you a bit into the movie industry, showing you behind the scenes of some of the films currently in progress, so you can get a taste of our state. Very good, Willem very much looking forward to it. I appreciate you uh, rolling out the red carpet like this. I am, of course, looking forward to meeting with you uh, later, as well as the governor, to discuss some of the uh, crime programs that we have. But I see no reason why we can't start with some pleasantries. So I'll uh, lead the way. It's my pleasure. Go ahead and follow me. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> All right, Mr. Attorney General, we'll be getting in this vehicle. Car two, package secure. Car three, we're mounted up. Two, 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 one. Oh, you need slides on. Looks like we're getting started. So these Tahoes here, we have only a few lights in that Tahoe back there. It's looking like the real presidential escort. We got the trunk open for the SWAT team that theoretically would sit in the trunk of GTA would allow it. And, and all the light bars and stuff. And this is pretty awesome. So, Car 1 is ready. Car 2 ready. Car 3 ready. Let's get this show on the road. We also have a helicopter up to watch from above as uh, the route isn't super secure throughout, but we hopefully don't expect any problems. Motor command, ready. THU command, all good. 10-4. There we go. We're rolling. Our engine isn't on. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we're we're rolling here. It's pretty pretty freaking sick. 
Let's try to get some other angles here going on. We got the escort leaving. Oh, that trunk open. It just looks so legit. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, so we're doing an escort. This is a TSU motorbike detective joint operation in the LSPD um, in Port Authority lending us their helicopter. Uh, in motor unit, as you can see, they'll be taking care of all the traffic and roads and things. And uh, yeah, I think we have five of them. So we are we are very not good on uh, on motor units. Ooh. We got a convoy broken. Convoy's broken. Alright, we're back in formation now. Let me see if I can get the root up on our phone so I can talk to the Attorney General a bit. I believe our first stop is Mission Row, but we'll be giving him a tour. And we use these stops to um, obviously tour for the Attorney General, but also get a. Um, Red box on your parcel, can you please tell us? Also uh, give a uh, the convoy a chance to recoup and refuel and things like that. So let's go ahead and check out the convoy. 210 on a motorbike control. Be advised. Please advise when you are all passing. So I believe the first stop is going to be the Mission Road Station. All right. All right, Mr. Attorney General, the first stop today, it's going to be the Mission Road Police Station. It's the police headquarters for the Los Santos Police Department. And uh, we will be giving you a tour throughout our facilities so you can get a uh, glimpse of what it is like um, to work for the police department and uh, our facilities and how we operate. Well, fantastic. I was really looking forward to that stop in particular. I understand that you folks have quite an extensive uh, operation here in the city, and I understand as well that the uh, requisition for a uh, new fleet of vehicles came through recently, and judging from what I see, it looks like they are doing extremely well. Car 1, what's your truck? Yes, we, uh, these vehicles have aid of the department in many ways, and uh, the grant from the state was very generous for us to put passing on left. our fleet. Well, considering the vast reduction in crime uh, over the past six months, we saw no reason why not to grant you guys better vehicles to continue your commitment uh, to the city safety and security. And I have to admit, uh, uh, they sure as hell do look much better than the uh, fleet that we you guys with the last time. So, well, no, I think a very good, uh, very good uh, turn of events. Yes, we, uh, we, we do appreciate it uh, a lot. And certainly that is our goal, to maintain safety and security of the public. This is the uh, industrial district of reports, I imagine. Convoy broken. Yes, this is uh, this is where we have most of the imports. This is the biggest industry left. besides the manufacturing section over in La Mesa, which is just two ten two one convoys. Everything good? Come on, go to the. Go this to the is right. the uh, this is our major imports and uh, exports for the uh, Los Santos metropolitan area. I see very good, and uh, obviously you folks do deal a lot with trade, huh? certainly the fact that you're supplying not only uh, the entire city, but most of Blaine County with the goods that they require to operate on a day-to-day -day basis, that's no doubt a, a fairly, fairly significant attack. Uh, 214 for. passing left. Mary 35 say. Yes, it, it is, it is, um, it's also a big hassle for the police department too, it's, it's another big area we have to look out for, and uh, we have a lot of dedicated men and women who um, specialize in these areas and make sure that um, all the goods being imported are good, keeping the industry alive, keeping the industry thriving, and making sure that it's not being tainted with uh, illicit materials. No doubt. I can only imagine. Team Marine 14 uh, passing left. Very heavily on the uh, port of Marine 35. Uh, Santos. Yes, they are, they're, they're an amazing team. You know, let's keep spacing in mind. Ooh, just look! Oh, look at that motorbike go! <laughs> that was awesome. You can see the helicopter up there. 
We're getting some awesome shots of the convoy right now. It's, it's this is this is really awesome. Oh, there's the tile with the open trunk. It's just it's awesome. All right, sir. As I mentioned earlier, now we're entering the uh, manufacturing section of Los Santos. This is uh, La Mesa and uh, El Barro Heights. Uh, this is one of our lower income communities, but uh, it is mainly the people who live in this area that uh, keep most of these factories open and working. Um, we have a very diverse uh, social spectrum here in Los Santos, um, from the middle class living in and around uh, Mirror Park. Right, Two right, fourteen passing, passing left. And we have um, the lower uh, class living down in Davis and up here in Elboro Heights, and then. The, uh, oh, you upper can just stay in the left up lane. Up in Vinewood Hills, so lane. It, it's a very diverse community we have here in Los Santos, and um, a lot of different uh, racially grouped neighborhoods, and um, it, it, it helps left. the city a lot. Keep a very nice um, cultural vibe going. Well, no doubt, uh, considering the racial diversity here, one of the things that we will be tackling. Uh, is how well you guys do deal with the uh, level of crime that might be coming out of certain neighborhoods here. I understand that uh, one of the things that you gentlemen uh, here in Los Santos are still dealing with is uh, an uptick in organized crime on Grove Street, I think is the name of the uh, area. It's in uh, Davis, if I understand it correctly. Yes, yes it is. Yeah, well, we'll be we'll be discussing that with the governor, uh, what, what further uh, things we can do to implement a better uh, control over that neighborhood uh, we have some correct police uh, operations that we could potentially offer you through the state um, though we, we would like to of course explore better options with you prior to uh, expanding anything to the federal the federal level yes yeah, certainly um, proactive policing is one of our main goals um, we do not like to attract bad attention from the media and a lot of bad attention can be attracted through any sort Jim of Mary 14 passing left racial um, discrimination that may go on and um, proactive policing is a way we tend to uh, help eliminate that problem of uh, bad rep from the media right well thankfully uh, when it comes down to it we uh, don't concern ourselves too much with the media we always like for them to be on our side but Dolphin if they're not there's uh, very little that we can do Yes. There, there's always very little we can do about what they're going to write. Obviously, the main goal is always, you know, maintaining safety and security, and whatever means we have to do to make that necessary, we have to do. Weekend. Naturally. Well, it appears we're uh, coming up on one of our first stops, no? Yes, this is the first stop. We'll be taking you through the back entrance of the uh, station, and the convoy will be meeting us right out front. So, if you could please step out. Car two, we need the units from car one. Can we get the last units in the convoy stay in the back? Everyone else go back to the front. All right, Mr. Attorney General, hang on a second. Uh, we'll be getting the clearance from the station to unlock the door for us here in a second. Uh, absolutely. R2 to traffic command. Go ahead. Are we being picked up in the front? That is affirmative. We are going to regroup in the front right now. 10-4. Car 1, 2, and 3 drivers. Uh, bring the car around. If you aren't a driver, um, enter the station. SRU, stay with the cars. All righty. Uh, Mr. Attorney General, follow me. For this special occasion, we have had uh, the jail cells uh, cleared right now. All of our inmates were just transported to the county jail um, as per procedure at the end of the week. Absolutely, I understand. Uh, you don't want to keep people pent up here too long. Yep. These are our cells. Uh, can fit a few people in them. They're holding cells, no permanent uh, solutions. And this is where the desk sergeant stays who uh, buzzes us in and uh, out of the jail cell. 
Very nice. Uh, looks like it's uh, a little underfunded, if I, if I do say so myself. Funding is always a problem, as you know. As I know indeed. Uh, let us continue. All right. Here we have the offices of our supervisors and sergeants. And in here, this is where the dispatch team uh, stays and where inmates are processed. Very good. Here is to where our fleet services are. And here I'll take you in the briefing room. At the beginning of every shift here, we have the uh, patrol sergeant and all the officers come in here. And the patrol sergeant will uh, give them updates and assign them beats. And uh, this is where um, patrols will start and end. Very good. Looks like a very efficient space. Right through this door right here, that's the armory. That's where the officers have to check in and out their weapons. And right through here, Mr. Attorney General, I'll take you to the locker rooms. This is a space every officer of every shift has their own locker and they can place their personal belongings in there and then trade them out once they're done with their shift. Very nice, yeah. big and spacious. I'm glad that uh, you, you guys give your, your officers ample amount of space for their personal belongings. Yes, this is all the, uh, all the basics. Right down this hall, that's the roof access to the helicopter. Um, we won't need to be going up there right now. It's a little noisy. Very well. And we'll be heading out right uh, through the main lobby. That's the captain's office and uh, the captain of the station and the front desk where um, someone is staffed 24-7 except for this minute. Very good. All right, Mr. Attorney General, to the second vehicle once again. And we will get right on the road. I believe the next stop is the Oriental Theater on Vinyl Boulevard. Ah, oh, looking forward to that. TSU's got this on lock. <laughs> this is awesome. Kyle one is ready. Two twenty two one to the MBU unit in the back. Can you come up and replace me right now? Okay, where are you? I'm gonna be right in front of the uh, Tahoe's blocking this car. Path razor ready. Car two pa car two package secure. Ready to roll. And for my command, moving. It's Mary, 35 passing. All right, All right Mr. Attorney General, Possible. this is the Vespucci Boulevard Bridge, uh, one of many bridges over the Los Santos. Uh, river and reservoir systems um, as you know due to the heat and drought they are looking very scarce but we manage fortunately uh, the one thing that we can't control in the forever. government is uh, the weather uh, otherwise we'd be bringing you a lot more rain yes yes but rain you know not that pretty days for weather we like it sunny here Number 35 passing left Car one to car two, watch the silver vehicle. Hi, right, Mr. Attorney General. As I mentioned earlier, uh, Mirror Park close, close. is one of the uh, middle class areas. Well. Nice parks, nice homes, new developments. And uh, we will be entering that area now, just doing a quick drive through 
of it. Yeah, I've uh, heard stories. It, it, I, I think it has a beautiful view of the Vinewood sign, if I remember correctly. It does, there right it is, there. Right beautiful view of the Vinewood sign, the Galileo Observatory, downtown. You got it all here. We'd love to take you through the residential streets, show you some of the new developments, but um, there are a lot of children at play here, and uh, we, we try to like to cause the least amount of footprint to the community as we uh, could. Well, a government motorcade isn't right. exactly a small matter, so I can understand why you want to make sure that uh, you keep things uh, low-key around here. Yes. We have a nice shopping center over here. This was recently built. It's got uh, a lot of stores um, in it. Also, a lot of nice restaurants here. Area 35, passing on the right. I love this view. That looks like you're, you're just like one of those convoy videos that you record. Without, I guess I don't record. They're on YouTube. Ooh, desync. Desync makes this hard. To your left, this is the riverway that comes down from the Land Act Dam that's up there. Uh, the dam reservoir is very full, and uh, this is just a little um, offspring from the dam. Yeah, I, I see. I understand how that uh, works. We have some um, more sophisticated systems where larger bodies of water are going. Yeah. And also to our right, this is the casino and horse racing track. It's a really popular tourist attraction. Um, surprisingly low crime rate, considering crime around casinos is usually high. But uh, we tend to not have problems around this area. To your right, we have the Water and Power Headquarters, and to your left, we have the LSPD Vinewood Detachment for the department. Ah, the Vinewood Department looks like it's a lot more modern than the other one, but probably not as functional, all things considered. It, it is a lot more modern. Um, Vinewood is a newer development. Uh, Los Santos, it, it's a city with history, and uh, downtown has a little more history than up here in Vinewood. Yeah, I, I understand that Vinewood needs to be a little bit more um, on top of the times, given the, uh, the sheer amount of tourism you've got to get here. Must be, Carl, yeah, one, go must ahead be pretty and go overwhelming. Me. I believe we're coming up on our second stop right here at the Oriental Theater. You can walk across some of the stars on the Vinewood Walk of Fame, and you'll be going in and watching a short movie, and uh, we will keep this area secure for you uh, while you do that. Watch the intersection of right, Pinewood. We'll be going right in here to our right in this uh, plaza. I just want to take Both a look at the stars. TSU. My first Make time sure here. Blocking the rest oh, of the this is your off. first time here. That's a perfect place and time to watch the stars. Traffic control to uh, Dolphin 1. Be advised, we're just going to have the oh, eastbound lane shut uh, off. Let's go ahead and get that movie. Yeah. Let's head right over here to our left of the box office. What movie looks appealing to you today? Oh, well, I, I have to go with I Married My Dad. I mean, that's just... That's a classic. That's a sequel of the uh, the other one, right? I, I Married my, my Mom or something like that, I think so. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. It's a, it's a wonderful film, uh, so I've heard. I have not seen it yet myself. Uh, we'll be taking you well, right I... in over here uh, through these double doors. Sure. The, the golden ones with the red carpet, of course. Uh, of course. Alright, sir. Uh, just go ahead and take a few minutes to enjoy that movie. Uh, we'll stand right out here. I uh, I left during the trailers. That wasn't all that good. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. We're going to be getting ready to go it's on the all right. exiting the theater. 
All right, well, let's uh, let's bring you back over to the vehicles and we can get moving to our next stop, which I believe is going to be... We're going to be taking a stop at our uh, university. Oh, fantastic. Uh, university of uh, Los Santos, correct? Yes. Traffic command, all units go ahead and uh, start the engines. I love that Tahoe with the, with the trunk open, that's sick. Mr. Attorney General, looks like we're car, good to go. Car three, car two. Uh, for now, car two is ready to go. Car one. Car one is ready. Traffic command, copy direct. Damn fool. Motor command, copy direct. Motor command, copy. Damn fool, let's get moving. We'll be on the move. Looks like we are good to go again. Um, we had uh, some malfunctions. You know, when you put a lot of gear into one vehicle, it sometimes uh, overheats. Passing left. Yeah, new vehicles, new fleet, need uh, new environment. Getting really worked hard. I can understand that. Yeah, it, it is certainly a hot day today. The sun is beating down on us right now. Um, are, are you all right back there, temperature-wise? You want me to turn the AC up a bit? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. This is uh, very comfortable for me. Alright, perfect. This is a wonderful street. Vinewood Boulevard to Eclipse Boulevard. This is one to be looking out your window for. Wonderful restaurants, wonderful establishments, some famous ones, I might add. Um, there's so much history Motive and culture command, on TSU, Give motivation room, please. It is, uh, it, it is really awesome. 35 passing left. Yeah, you know, I've seen so many movies filmed in this city, I never actually thought that I'd uh, get this sort of treatment going down, but man, it is a beautiful, beautiful city you got here. Yeah, so it almost feels like you're a part of the movies that you've seen here yourself. Traffic command and motorbike command, please utilize the right lane for passing. As you can see here, we have more developments in the city, which keep us thriving and keep the economy up. Yeah, absolutely. You guys had an uptick in your population uh, over the past three years yes. per capita. I'm yes. very pleased to see that. Yeah, and the more uh, construction and development we're doing, especially on revitalizing some of the aged buildings, um, provides a lot of jobs for uh, lower and lower middle income families that uh, gets, also lowers the crime rate significantly. Absolutely. And uh, if you don't mind me asking, what do you think you guys are going to do with that uh, brand new skyscraper, skyscraper that they're going to be building? Downtown? Yeah, 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 that one. Three ATSU units. That, that skyscraper, it is, um, I believe, planned to be an apartment building at this time. Um, I, I don't think there are many Car other way, uh, intentions for it. I'm sure they will be leasing some of the uh, suites to ATSU companies. Guys. I'm very excited to see how that uh, continues to grace your sky the lines. Traffic command going to be overtaking left. car one and so car two. Your exercise caution, narrow road. Right here to our Cut left, you can see right behind those shrubs and the hedges position. is a famous hotel uh, of ours. Many musicians, movie stars, politicians have stayed the night here. Yeah, it looks like it has a pretty nice pool. Huh. It is very yeah. nice. And here we are, we're coming on uh, hotel like that. ULSA. The University of Los Santos, San ULSA. Andreas. ULSA. Lee, TSU, oh, you need to take a right. thriving science department and a uh, track and field. It is, it is one of the leading colleges in the state. Track and field, eh? I, uh... 
knew a guy who ran that way back when. He was pretty darn good. Yeah, I... I Dolphin one will be 10 7 I, I knew a guy, too. He, he was a cool guy. Yeah, cool. Alright, Mr. Attorney General, go ahead and uh, hop out, and we'll take you around the campus here a bit. Um, actually, hold on, hold on yeah, a second, Mr. Way. Mr. Attorney General. Hold on a second. We'll get you something that can make this faster. Can uh, can uh, you and the suit here? Can you get a uh, golf cart to bring the Attorney General around in? Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's try to close the gap a little bit on them. Yep. All right, caddies, let's go ahead and uh, return back we're getting uh it's getting dark we're getting cut short on time what a wonderful track i agree did you graduate from here traffic command uh, yeah, did, actually. eta on arrival pretty good awesome I went away to Liberty City for college. I, I I I wish I would have gone here. That would have been a lot better. Yeah, I agree. All right, Mr. Attorney General. We'll get going again. Traffic command, all units be advised. We are going to be rolling out in less than one mic. All right, Mr. Attorney General. Sorry the uh, the visit and tour was ephemeral, but. Um, we got to get moving. It's getting a little dark, and uh, I'm sure you have other plans that you have to get to tonight. Yeah, it was a uh, fairly long flight, so the sooner we can go ahead and uh, get get started on the business, the better. Yes, we have uh, one more stop. It's going to be down. Uh, Truck rig, command car one. You good? At the movie studio. Car two's clear. Car three's clear. Car one. Do we have a unit with car one? Car one is a kill. What if me and copy? Traffic command, all good to go. Ten for a movie. All right, Mr. Attorney General, we're gonna be uh, headed south now. We're gonna take you through the movie studio as promised very quickly, and then we'll be heading back to the airport, and uh, you can get out on your flight uh, to. Uh, I'm not sure your next destination is. Um, I don't. I don't have that part of your itinerary, but you can get on to where you are going to get on to. Well, believe it or not, we're going uh, all the way out to Liberty City um, for a uh, summit being hosted by the uh, governor out there, so that's going to be my next stop. Wonderful. I have, uh, I, I've, I've been to the uh, meeting room there. It is, it, it's quite a nice meeting room, if I may say so myself. Yeah, I've been to Liberty, Liberty City a couple times as well. I got to be honest with you, I'm, I'm an East Coast sort of guy. I really do appreciate the uh, the the metropolitan feel, but there's nothing like a good old relaxing visit to the West Coast once in a while. It it certainly is nice, and uh, I I feel very lucky to be able to live here and live. live that vacation every single day. The Five light, the night lights of uh, Los Santos. That's it's something else. It's something special. Um, you know, this, the skyline of Los Santos isn't uh, anything as grand or large as many of the uh, East Coast cities, but it, it is one certainly unique one. I understand that. Believe it or not, it's one of the only cities with two uh, government-owned sky rises next to each other. Yes, the, uh, what is it, the International Affairs Association or whatever it is, and of course the FIP. Yes, they're, they're next to each other. And uh, you know whether whether or not we like to believe they are if they are rivals or not, 
Um, you know, that, that is our choice. I believe... Convoy, we're headed in the theater. Convoy, car one, two, three, we're headed inside. MBU, we've got a convoy break in, in front of car three, if you can help us out here. All right, we will be oh, we will be um, entering the movie studio now. And this is the Richard Majestics movie studio. It is uh, where many of the blockbuster AAA titles are made. Um, here are some of the sound stages. Some the cars are safe inside movie theater. Some big uh, murals. Uh, as you can see, the light stage Trip ones recording command, right go now. Ahead, wrap around. Uh, looks like they're recording uh, deep Buffer inside and meltdown here. Uh, not in this. Uh, studio but they are recording it in a different sound stage so some new uh vinewood blockbuster hits are being produced here car three car one is real slowly well, i'm excited for the uh for what's going to be coming up with that hopefully it'll be better than uh i married my mom or my dad or whatever it is that i just uh saw well hopefully it will be sir So, uh, Chief, I got a question for you, if you don't mind me asking. Uh, of course. I'll be happy to answer. Yeah, so, uh, the, uh, Justice Department is looking into trying to standardize law enforcement across the United States. Uh, one of the things that we were considering, and one of the things I'm greatly in favor of, is switching all the law enforcement vehicles in the city to all blue lights. I want to know uh, <laughs> what you it. think that would do uh, for the benefit of the city or the detriment. You know, um, as... As a connoisseur of red lights, uh, myself, um, I believe many people on the West Coast are used to the red and blues um, and the black and white fashion, and um, they're also used to the police cars having the very unique distinctive look with very little civilian features such as our custom police pursuit package rims and the red and blue lights. Um, and we stick to the fire and EMS vehicles using all reds because usually the EMS is uh, contracted through the fire department where all red would be used but as for a police department most folks here on the west coast are used to the red and blues, black and whites and uh, police looking vehicles, nothing nothing else. Well, it's uh, truly a shame I suppose we'll have to agree to disagree on that particular front. Um, I, unfortunately I, I believe we will. I found. Yeah, I mean, we, we did away with that uh, law that required a red steady burn in the city uh, a long time ago, and I think that uh, it, uh, that was a long did, time did a, ago. Did a great benefit. Yeah, no, it, we did a great it, benefit. It, it opened up some room. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't an opposer of the law, nor was I in favor of it, but it certainly opened up some room for right. some uh, some different options. Here we're arriving at Del Piero Pier, um, Del Piero Beach, one of the finest beaches in the United States. It is it is such a great one. Um, it's, a, it's a wonderful beach, lively community, really fun place to be. And we're just going to do a quick short uh, turnaround here and stop. And uh, then we'll be headed out right like straight back all the way into to the, the parking lot. Yeah, it looks like uh, you're really holding out on me. It's night time, but uh, this is the place I would have spent my entire day probably. We yes. have a woman, yeah, walking you through the as, as the job details, uh, we're not necessarily here to have fun, but you know we're here to we're here to show you around. Car two is the package going to be going on foot through here. Ten four. All right. Looks like we have fit in a little more time. Uh, so go ahead and hop out. Yeah, I'll, uh, go ahead and uh, take a look around in here. It looks pretty interesting. How uh, how old it is this entire uh, superstructure? The, the pier itself, it, it's it's an old one. It hasn't been refined for many years. Well, it just has a lot of tradition. Then I mean, it's holding up well. It's clearly bringing a lot of uh, a lot of interest and a lot of tourism. Of course, it's always up to code. There's nothing to be worried about there.
Wherever you'd like to box her, we'll, uh, we'll escort you there. And whenever you'd like to leave, we'll head out for you. Yeah, you know what? I think, uh, you know, if I'm not going to ride any of the rides, I might as well just make sure that we uh, get back to the airport on time. This looks great, and I might want to pick up a hot chihuahua meat, but I'm maybe going to... Probably gonna wait until uh, Liberty City for that. They're pretty insistent about it there, so I'll, I'll go ahead and get back. And go back. They are very yeah. insistent about it there. Um, you know, just when you stay. hear them, you just want to take a bite of their juicy explosion. You know what? That's uh, that's that's one of the things that I've heard them tell me often. I'm glad uh, glad someone else can tell me for a yes. fact that's what it is. I was, I was talking with my colleague when we were in the uh, golf carts at the university. I actually I graduated from a uh, college back in uh, Liberty City. Oh, yeah, well that would make sense then. You clearly know your way around there. Yes, all right, Mr. Attorney General, that's our final stop. We'll be heading back to the airport. Fantastic, well thank you so much for the uh, tour of the city. It's been absolutely a pleasure. You, you are very welcome, sir. It's our pleasure to have you here. It's our pleasure to make sure your journey is uh, safe and as quick as possible. Traffic command, let's go ahead and uh Finish it out. Car two clear. Car three is clear. Car one clear. Uh, car two to uh, motorcade command. Do we have the uh, attorney general's plane ready at LSIA? Ten four. Ten four. Is the plane uh, on standby in hangar five? Affirm. 10-4. Alright, I just got word. Your plane is ready in Hangar 5 for us, so we'll be making our way down there now. Fantastic work. I'm very pleased with the department and its capability to handle its stuff here. And, you know, it just goes to show for me, you know, uh, last time I went to any other uh, state for an event like this, they had to bring out the state police, they had to bring out uh, some sheriff deputies, but you, you gentlemen were able to handle it all on your own, and that speaks a great deal to the efficiency of the department and the quality of our men. Yes, uh, it's, it's, it's a group effort. Uh, we have a lot of uh, people doing really good things for the department and uh, to make sure things like this can happen uh, and function it's smoothly and efficiently. Right uh, here, actually, to your uh, right, this is going to be our Vespucci police station. Wow, you guys, you guys certainly have a uh, bevy of really nice and well-located stations as well. Yes, as a uh, community outreach program, we actually had um, artists submit artwork that we could paint on the walls. We thought the place needed a little color, especially to represent um, the Vespucci Beach community which is a very uh, cultured and artistic uh, community. They, they're, uh, they're always fun. Uh, it's always a pleasure when I uh, hear I get to patrol down here because the people are so great. From what I can tell, it seems like the entire city is really made up of some wonderful people. So, got to hand it to you, Chief. You got a, got a great department and a, a great great sense of community here. <laughs> no, I love it because Andrew's actually the deputy chief of police. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, it's, as I said earlier, it's, it's a team effort. I wouldn't be able to do it alone. I have a, uh, I have an awesome group of uh, command staff and supervisors that keep the system working perfectly, so. Looks like we're almost there. If you want to look behind you, that's a perfect time to take in the skyline, take in the Mays Bank Tower and the uh, FIB Tower you can see there, and that new construction development we were talking about earlier. Yeah, I'm looking forward to coming back when it's finished. I'm, I'm just thrilled with all the sort of developments going on in your city. And you know, we didn't comment it when we were leaving, but you've got a wonderful airport as well. Beautiful, beautiful layout, very unique architecture with these uh, pylons here. Um, I'm, I do enjoy my time here very much. 
yeah, uh, our airport, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of things have community influence, like the airport that give uh, the city its unique feel. Behind us, we just passed uh, our sus suspension bridge. Uh, the, the suspension bridge is a great landmark for uh, all ships entering. And here you can see the very uh, unique architecture of the airport in the center of the roundabout here. Yeah, I understand it's a really fine restaurant. I'll have to, I have so many things on my list to do when I come back, but I'm fairly certain yes. that the restaurant is an easy one to get get done. Yes, but let's hope. We'll see what I have time Let's for hope your next back. visit can uh, contain a little bit more time in some places that uh, you would like to go. Now that you know your way around a bit and you know what's here. Indeed, I'm looking forward to it, and we're uh, back, back where we started, so uh, before we shake hands and depart, I just want to know, is there anything that you need from uh, from us at the Justice Department? Not off the top of my head, but I'd be sure to give you a call if I think of one. Very good. Well, you have my number. All right, that's the uh, traffic command. All units, go ahead and realign the way we did at the beginning up the of convoy. the uh, escort. We'll be uh, flipping around, and his plane will depart. A nice long all day. Go ahead and do a full convoy. circle. Oh, people don't know which way they're going. Coming in here. We had a lot of TSC guys. They actually uh, they doubled up in their cars. Go ahead and shut off the lights. Oh, turning off the lights, the fun part, all the lights. <laughs> Fortunately, our SWAT team didn't have to be used. All right, Mr. Attorney General. Mr. Attorney General, it's been my pleasure to have you here. Uh, on behalf of all of us here at the LSPD and in the Los Angeles government. Uh, car 3, car 2, been, can you hold your client? We're going to check it's this. It's been uh, wonderful. Uh, check out. Our, uh, our teams are gonna go make sure everything's all clear, and then we'll uh, we'll get you onto your plane and get you out of here. All right. Sure, well, thank you very much. I, I'm in no rush. All right, Mr. Attorney General, man, it was a pleasure to be able to uh, escort you on behalf of all my TSU guys. Thank you for coming to Los Santos. Well, thank you for having me. It's absolutely a pleasure to be here. I was just explaining to your chief that you guys did. An absolutely thrilling job tonight. I'm very happy to have uh, been able to be here. Well, very satisfied to hear that, sir. Anytime, man. Clear. Anytime you come back, we'll be here for you, alright? 10 9, we're clear. Looking forward to it. Thank you so hey, much. 10 4. Yes, sir. You have a safe flight. Uh, you have a very good evening. Alright, Mr. Attorney General. We'll get you onto your plane here, and uh, you'll be on your way out, alright? Alright, thank you very much. Uh, once again, Beautiful city, beautiful police department. Looking forward to working with you in the future. As do I. Have safe travels, Mr. Attorney General. You as well. Take care now. Car 2 package has been handed off. Good work, gentlemen. Traffic command, all in units be advised. We are now code 4. Let's uh, let's stand by, wait till the airplane is in the air, and uh, I'll make you clear for now. Everyone, just assume positions near your vehicles. Uh, my check. Center scram, court one, clear for taxi via Papa to runway one two left. Cleared for takeoff. Contact. Contact Los Santos Tower upon takeoff. 12.6. Uh, there we go. I guess we'll just do cop. I think the guard isn't on here. It's kind of close enough that he holds his belt instead of his hand, so. They'll be taxiing. Oh, and <laughs> uh, I love the environment of GTA. This is this is some like interior, so it just shuts out all the noise from out there. So I want to watch him take off. So that'll be an awesome ending. But the convoy was really successful. A lot better. Uh, Desync was not a problem at all whatsoever. So that was really really good to 
to see that these things did not cause us any issues and everyone did amazing in the convoy um, yeah so as I said earlier as you guys may have questions all the car 1 car 2 car 3 that's the LSPD detectives bureau and two units from the SRU team and then in the all the TSU cars are guys from the TSU team and on the motorbike is the motorbike subdivision those are those guys so we'll go ahead and wait till they take off wave our goodbyes I want to watch the plane go I like watching planes take off and just in sunrise it was a long nearly 24 hour um, journey for us so surprisingly everything went well because my PC has not been treating me well recently <laughs> but everything went well so that's good probably still taxiing and uh, once they're done taxiing we'll be uh, we'll be all good to clear. Well, Los Santos uh, Los Santos Tower called one uh, ready to take off from way one to uh, Alright, they're uh, they're ready to take off. Alright, I guess they they just got cold one cleared for takeoff. Oh they just got clearance for takeoff. Oh, there we go. The pilot's a little quiet but that's alright. Don't know where that detective's gone. He's I guess running to maybe go get a picture or something. And there they go. There goes the Attorney General. He's out of here. <laughs>